Now, how do we note down the temperature? What do I mean by how do we note down? What's the significant figure here? The thermometer reads from minus 10 to 350 degrees. But each small line on the thermometer, which you may not be able to see, represents 1 degree. However, when you want to read it closely, you will be able to see those readings. So, you all know how to read the thermometer. If it is on a particular line, then that unit number represents the temperature. For example, right now it says it is 22 degrees centigrade. However, if the mercury is in between two lines, what is the temperature? It is neither the number below it nor the number above it. So you need to have a decimal place. That is the number that you are estimating. That is the first decimal place because the unit numbers are marked. You have to estimate the first decimal place when the mercury level is in between two lines. I suggest that you estimate it to the nearest 0.5 if it is in between. If it is exactly on a particular reading, then note down the reading as 0. 0.0. So you will all have first decimal place noted in your temperature column versus the volume of the liquid that you are getting. Now, we had three graduate cylinders. When do you change these graduate cylinders? First is when you have collected almost all of the low boiling component out. How do I know that I have collected all of the low boiling component in this graduate cylinder? You want to wait till the thermometer reads 5 degrees above the boiling point of the lower boiling component. So what do I mean by above 5 degrees of the boiling point? Do not look at the boiling point in the table of physical constants that you noted down. That is the literature value. Thermometers always have uncertainties attached with them. Plus or minus 1 degree. Sometimes it may be plus or minus 2 degrees centigrade. So... How do I then know what the boiling point of the lower boiling component was? As you are noting down the volume versus temperature, you will have some readings for which you will have a constant temperature value. Some volume readings for which you will have constant temperature reading. That constant temperature reading is the boiling point of the lower boiling liquid according to this thermometer. So once that number is there, note that mentally as the boiling point given by your setup. And once the temperature goes above 5 degrees, about that constant reading, then you are going to replace this graduate cylinder with the cylinder that is marked 2. So again, let it reach a constant reading. And then, you know, continue to collect till the temperature rises above 5 degrees above that constant reading. Then we assume that all of the lower boiling liquid has distilled off. We start collecting fraction 2. And then again, we change the collecting graduate cylinder to the third one when the temperature reads 5 degrees below the boiling point of the higher boiling component. In all its time, of course, you are noting down the volume versus temperature continuously. Even when you change from cylinder 1 to cylinder 2 to cylinder 3, you will note down the temperature reading for each milliliter. So, if let us say you change the cylinder from 1 to 2 after collecting 10 milliliters. What do I do? The next value will be 11 milliliters. You do not start as 1, 2, 3 again. So it is a continuous chart in which you are going to collect volume versus temperature. When do I stop distilling? We have taken about 30 milliliters of the liquid. When you have collected 26 milliliters in total, you stop heating. In case... 
it happens that before you reach the 26 milliliter mark, there isn't much liquid left at all in the flask or there are very few drops left in this flask, then stop heating even if you haven't collected the reading up to 26 milliliters. Why? Remember I told you before, we should never heat this flask to dryness. So, 26 milliliters or till there are only few drops left in this distilling flask. Again, to reinforce the thing that how to stop the heating procedure for the round bottom flask, you turn this dial back to zero, turn the switch off, but make sure you bring this down so that the heating stops, okay? So just by turning this off, you're not cutting off the heat supply right away. Only by bringing the jack down, you're cutting the heat supply. 